So the next item we'll be working on is the multi-select. To do this, what we are going to do is first of all, duplicate the existing file. So copy, and we're going to call it a multiple. And this file, the template of this file will be pretty much the same, except for a few things. Uh, we need to add multiple to the select tag. And rather than looping through the records, we are going to loop, be looping th uh, through the options directly. Now, these things here will change quite a bit, but before we do this, let's open components and let's actually register this new component. So we are going to have multiple select and rather than single, that is going to point to the multiple.view. Okay, if we save and close this file, now, the other thing we're going to do is remove these imports. And what we are going to be actually importing this time is a multi-select input. The mixing which we've created earlier as well. So multi-select input, and we need to use it as a mixing. Let's remove this Ajax color. Now, we're not going to be having any additional properties. Uh, we won't have any data or computed properties. We will have mounted, but rather than fetching and emitting, what we are going to be doing is calling update method as the first item within the mounted section. And then for the methods, the only method that we will actually provide the implementation of will be the update. All the other methods can go and the same for the watcher. Now from within the update, the only thing we will do is to emit the selected value. And that's everything in terms of the multiple component, if we save and close this. And now if we go to main index blades, I've already added a fruit array to our collections on the form wrapper, because this is where all those multi selects for this particular multi select will be collected as the fruit index, you can obviously create as many as you want with different names. And if we now scroll right to the bottom, my last item here is the fruit. Uh, we have this multi-select which we've just registered. We have options, name and value. Value in this case is a string. Uh, we have validation, just required. Uh, we have current value which will pre-select banana and apple. Apple and banana will be selected. And then I've also added the input uh, CSS class to make sure that there's no margin between the, the actual input and then the field set. But that's obviously purely down to the formatting here. Okay, so if we now recompile everything and let's preview everything in the browser. And if we refresh the page, you'll see our fruit multi select is here. We have two items pre selected. If I go to the form and let's just look for fields, there we go. We have fruit with banana and apple pre selected. I can deselect them by using command and click on the Mac, uh, we can select multiple as well, single or all of them. You can see they are being added to the collection. If we deselect, hit and submit, we have required field. This field is required. Obviously, validation fails. If we select any of them, that goes off. So that seemed to be working fine. So we are now done with the select. In the next chapter, we are going to tackle text area and CK editor.